What's going on everybody? So I got a pretty interesting topic for you today and this is on protein absorption. Now, a lot of us have always been focused on the amount of protein we're eating and there's been some significant debate centered around the amount of grams of protein we need per, per pound of body weight or grams per kilogram of body weight. Um, but uh, in a way, that's only telling us part of the story, right? Because what really matters isn't how many grams of protein we're actually putting into our body, it's how many grams of protein we're actually digesting and assimilating into our systems. So while you definitely want to meet your protein requirements, you definitely want to be sure that your body is utilizing all the protein you're putting into your body. So there was this old uh, kind of thing that people held as truth. Um, back in the day and that said that you couldn't eat more than 20 to 30 grams of protein in a single meal and still be able to absorb that protein and uh, since then science has actually demonstrated that that's pretty false um, there was a great review article that Brad Schoenfeld and Alan Aragon put out not too long ago that talked about this as being complete BS. When you actually look at the science, they say that it's probably more likely that you should be eating you know, between 31 and 55 grams of protein per meal scattered across four meals a day uh, if your goal is to build muscle. Now that's still based on some speculation. It's a review article. They didn't actually um, you know, conduct any tests associated with this, but there is some science to back this. There was an article that said that um, there may, no, may be no limit to the anabolic of effect of the protein you're eating um, from any given meal, right? And what this article says, and I'll, I'll link this below, is that it's not just that you are utilizing that protein to repair cells and to build cells, um, the amount of protein you're eating is also a signal to your body to stop the catabolic process, to stop breaking down muscle for energy. And uh, it's an interesting scientific notion. And again, that's yet to be uh, demonstrated through through an actual experiment, but this is a theory that's been, playing, been um, pushed around the scientific community. So, what I think we need to focus on right now is what we can do to actually better digest and assimilate our protein. So this really starts with our mouths, right? So what we really want to be focusing on when we're eating our meals is chewing. Um, you need to be chewing your protein. You need to be chewing it until it's liquid, until it's mush. Um, and that's because the more you chew, the more you're releasing enzymes in your mouth that can help to break that protein down before it goes down the esophagus and enters the stomach. Now, this is definitely true for solid food, but it's also true for those protein shakes you're drinking. You don't want to be slamming your protein shake like it's a beer that you shotgun in at a freaking keg party. You want to be sipping it, kind of like a fine wine. Allow your body to digest and absorb that protein. Do it slowly. Don't slam that thing. The next thing you want to do is you want to consider the next step in the system. That's your stomach. Now, the stomach isn't really a place where we absorb nutrients. It's a place where you continue to break down food. And a lot of people make the mistake of taking antacids when they get GERD. Now, the thing about antacids is this, they're largely ineffective and that's because heartburn and GERD is usually the result of not having enough stomach acid. Because you don't have enough stomach acid, your body needs to produce more and that creates a gurgling effect going up the esophagus. But the more dangerous notion to this is that when you take antacids, you're actually inhibiting your ability to absorb protein, right? And so, it can really, really reduce the effectiveness of the amount of protein you're, 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 you're putting in your body. So I would avoid antacids altogether. If you really want to help with your heartburn, I would try introducing a source of acid into your stomach prior to meals. Now that can be two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar tossed into a glass of water and you can sip on that. Don't drink it straight. That stuff will burn your throat, ruin your teeth, all kinds of crazy things. So apple cider vinegar can, can definitely help here. And if it's an extreme situation, you could also supplement with hydrochloric acid. Um, and you can get that in pill form. It's called betaine HCL. Um, and you can take that uh, uh, prior to meals as well. Now, 
In addition to that, you really want to consider what's happening in your intestinal tract. And over the past few weeks, I've been putting a lot of information out there about gut health, about how to take care of your intestinal tract. I've written an article for T Nation um, that talks about how bad digestion can kill your testosterone. And I lay out a full protocol in there for how to heal and populate your gut with good probiotic bacteria so that you can ensure optimal nutrient absorption. Um, in addition to that, you want to stave off any damage that you could occur from other types of foods because that can also inhibit your absorption. So you definitely want to be prepping your vegetables the right way. You know, there's this huge thing going on, going around about the carnivore diet and how vegetables can ruin your health. I think that's complete BS. It's just that most of you don't know how to prep your vegetables. You need to be slicing those up. You need to be breaking down that vegetable wall. You need to let them sit there for about 10 minutes after you slice them up. What that's gonna do is it's gonna release a natural defense system in those plants. Uh, those plants are going to need to release polyphenols. That's how they heal themselves. And when they, in order to release those polyphenols, um, they, uh, need to release enzymes and those enzymes help to break down the vegetable barrier uh, that's going to be so hard to digest so when you do that you're actually also making the plants more nutritious because they're releasing more and more polyphenols so that's my take on protein absorption it's something we really need to consider it's way more important actually than the amount of grams of protein you're eating. You really need to be chewing, you need to be digesting your protein properly, and you need to be taking care of your intestinal tract. If you've got any questions for me, feel free to comment below. And um, if you're interested in learning more about what I do and the way I help people, you can sign up for my free newsletter at www.startketoright.com. I'll talk to you guys all later on this week. Boosh.